Monday morning show, nine minutes before the top of the hour. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, wearing her porcupine dress this morning, Miss Bernice Jenkins is in the house. I love to pray. Yes, I do. I love to pray. I love to pray. Him, yes, I do. I love to praise his name. I love to praise him. Yes, I do. I love to praise his name. I'm telling you that I love to praise his holy name. Oh, he's my rock. He's my rock. My rock, my soul, and shit, and he's a will. He's a will in the middle of the way. I know he'll never, I know he'll never, never, never let me down. He's just a Jew that I have. without a face. <laughs> they was at Chuck E. Cheese yesterday. They don't have no face. And couldn't get a birthday hat with the other kids because the employees didn't know whether to give it a pink one or a blue. And the rubber band kept slipping off. Ain't got no, ain't got no chin. No face, then it's just bad. He could not get that rubber band to stay on that when he have no chin either. He looked like a rick rack paddle. Wait a minute. The one that had that rubber butt, that little red ball on the end. We need to really pray hard for Deacon Walter Blank, who is 82, and his grandkids bought him an iPhone, and he didn't know how to work it. And by accident, he, he took pictures of himself when he had just got out the bathtub and sent them, and sent them to the Sunday school website. <laughs> sent it to the Sunday school website by mistake. And all the children in the class done seen the pictures. And he's been arrested and charged with disturbing naked pictures to my uh, distributing. Naked pictures to mine. <laughs> and I got a copy of it. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was beef jerky. No! Anyway, homegoing services for 93 year old Deacon Earl Satterwhite will be, you know Earl Satterwhite, Jamie? The fume gonna be, the fume gonna be Wednesday at 11 o'clock. And he's been diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Rib cancer, <laughs> dry scalp, and leprosy. But that ain't what killed him. He had mixed up pine saw, mm -mm. ammonia, <laughs> Clorox cleanup, and fabuloso all together to clean out the baptismal pool. The fumes didn't kill him. It made him so dizzy, he walked outside and stepped in the street and got hit by a speeding ambulance. <laughs> it's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Ricky Smiley Morning Show, 10 minutes before the top of the hour. Miss Bernice Jenkins is in the building. Yes, she is. Oh, oh. Jesus. <laughs> on the main line. Tell him what you want. Oh, Jesus. On the main line. Tell him what you want. Oh, Jesus. On the main line. Tell him what you want. Oh, call him up and tell him what you want. Beautiful song, now, devotion, man. Yeah. Janie, good morning. Good morning. How you doing? I'm ready for Pastor's anniversary. I am too, baby. Thursday night at the Botwell Auditorium. Yeah. What you wearing, Janie? Oh, baby, I'm going to be firm in my short 
dress on. I know you will, Janie. Uh-huh. Yeah, and you know I got an orange dress with goldfish on it. <laughs> they real goldfish. Real ones. Oh, Here's that church announcement. This morning, govern yourself. Accordingly. Deacon Walter, uh, Deacon Walter Bynum and Sister Gloria Eccles are proud to announce that they're getting married next month after being engaged since June of 1975. Oh. <laughs> he is 84 and she is 79, and she said that they had to wait until his credit had straightened out. <laughs> And now they're going to marry They're going to go and live right. They're going to marry <laughs> Won't be shacking no more. Because God don't like shacking. <laughs> All female members who are dark-skinned with low haircuts and look like Tyrese in the face. Okay, come on now. Are asked to audition at 3 o'clock p.m. for the Fall Jubilee production of Roots. <laughs> Females look like Tyrese. It's a jubilee, but it's roots. Ain't this supposed to be celebratory? Oh, it's like a musical. It's a musical, but it's for a jubilee, but it's roots. It's roots. <laughs> <laughs> we need all dark skinned female with long hair because they look like Tyrese <laughs> in the face. <laughs> The building fund account has reached a new low level. It's only $47 in the building fund, Janie. And the pastor is asking all members who have drug dealers and hustlers and strippers in their family to please ask them to make big donations hey. <laughs> over the next couple of weeks because we we need to get a new wheelchair ramp and fix the, the leg on the Remembrance of Me table. The wheelchair ramp is messed up. And uh, the wheelchair members got there late Sunday and sat outside in the hot sun. All 11 of them could not get in. What's the balance in the account? Right? $47 each. <laughs> we got to fix the wheelchair ramp. They couldn't get in. And those are some of our highest tithers because they have dis- their own disability. <laughs> and they believe in tithing. <laughs> The church is asking a special prayer for the pastor's wife, sister-in-law, cousin's nephew, Terrell Owen. <laughs> he just got a job playing football for the Seattle Seahawks and is asking if anybody at the church knows somebody that's hiring, security guards or stocking groceries at Walmart or something, please call Mother Penny Owens <laughs> and let her know. That concludes our church announcement. The senior choir film will be this Saturday at 12 o'clock. Oh, <laughs> Who died? The senior choir. Is it, no, which one? All of them. <laughs> the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Ricky Smiley Morning Show, nine minutes before the top of the hour. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, can y'all please give it up for Miss Bernice Jenkins? Yeah. Yeah. Bed in one night, and my heart wasn't right. Oh, something got a hold on me. <laughs> Not the harmonica. <laughs> I went to the bed in one night, and my heart wasn't right. Oh, something got a hold on, on me. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Jenkins, we didn't know you knew how to play the harmonica. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, that's what you do when you ain't got no piano and no organ. <laughs> <laughs> you got to know how to end it. Something got a hold on me. A pause in between. Because I can catch, catch my breath. Yeah. Oh. 
<laughs> about a 10 second pause. <laughs> <laughs> you know, go right into it. Do one more line. <laughs> Something got a hold on me. You're gonna do it, do it! <laughs> now, this, now, Janie, this is from the sick and shiny in this. Please, please, please pray hard for these members. Sister Harriet Wiggins had to go to the hospital to get 13 st <laughs> accident at home yesterday. She got excited. And jumped off the couch while she was watching Dallas Cowboys play and smashed her face into the ceiling fan. <laughs> these people, you know, these old folks love them cowboys now. <laughs> Some of them like the Steelers, but they love them cowboys. Yeah. <laughs> now, 83 year old Deacon Harold Russell is recovering at home after being in the hospital last night. He had went to brush his teeth and had picked up a tube of Preparation H by mistake. <laughs> got his gums got the swelling and can on. <laughs> it's easy to get that Preparation H mixed up with that toothpaste from time to time when you don't have your glasses. I uh, see you need to call 1-800-TOOPAT. <laughs> Yeah, his mouth shrunk up on him. Anyway. <laughs> Deacon Willie Summerfield. You know Deacon Willie Summerfield. He is back at the hospital after an accident at the bowling alley on Friday. And y'all know he got three artificial fingers on his hand. And the ball he picked up had holes that was too small <laughs> and when he rolled the ball his fingers got snatched off <laughs> and rolled down and got mashed up up under the pen sweeper <laughs> please 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 keep him lifted up in prayer <laughs> and uh that's one I got right here that just came across. <laughs> we need everybody to please give a call to check on the family of 47-year-old sister Henrietta Dotson, who passed on Thursday. She was a young woman but had a lot of problems. <laughs> she know she was almost 400 pounds, oh, no. had liver disease, <laughs> varicose veins, diabetes, Sugar, dry scalp condition, itching eyelashes, drawed on eyebrows. But none of that what killed her. She died after she found some leftover boiled Easter eggs in the cabinet and ate 10 of them and died from food poisoning. And farted all over. It. <laughs> farted all over the goddamn thing. Ricky Smiley Morning Show, baby. No Democratic president. Ricky Smiley Morning Show, 13 minutes before the top of the hour. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Bernice Jenkins. Yeah! There was a time I knew <laughs> in all the books of heaven and then that time was long and I settled it long ago, long ago, down on my knees. Long ago, I settled it all. And the old account was settled long ago. Hallelujah. And the record lives today. For he washed my sins away And the old account was settled long ago Hallelujah! Thank you, Ebony, for that awesome 
awesome, awesome alto. <laughs> Mr. Hurston, I'm sorry, Miss Jenkins. Yeah, and the whole choir's alto. Yeah, man, soprano. <laughs> Here's our church announcement this morning. Govern yourself. Oh, oh, God. God. The pastor is asking that all church members who are Team Portia sit on the right side of the church, and all members who are Team Kenya sit on the left side because a fight broke out last week during altar call. <laughs> And he said, y'all making his nerves bad. So <laughs> your team Porsche sit on the right side of the church. And if your team can you sit on the left side, stay away from each other. Mm-hmm. All the teenagers <laughs> sitting up in the back of the who was laughing and sniggling. <laughs> when 97-year-old Mother Satterwhite tripped over the microphone cord <laughs> <laughs> and lost her wig. When she fell, I warned that the video cameras was on. And you will be contacted by the deacon board. Every teenager that was sniggling when Mother Satterwhite tripped over the microphone cord and lost her wig. You low down scoundrels! All members! All members pray! For the family brother, Ellis Pitts, whose wife, Juanita, then waited till she was 42 with three kids to decide to become a bull dagger. (laughs) And then left Ellis with the children to move in with a new girlfriend who ride a motorcycle. And and, 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 And then got Juanita hair cut off, all her hair, and now she walk around looking like uh, 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 Cuba Gooden Jr. <laughs> Cut all the hair. Her grandmother had her hair pretty. Oh, Lord. Ever since she was a little girl, she had long, pretty braids, pigtails. <laughs> with the hair bows and barrettes. And she done cut all the hair off. <laughs> and then, mo- then, 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 then a lot of them coming bar daggers. <laughs> Boy daggers. And they'll whoop you, honey. They'll whoop you. They don't play. And Janie, we lost another member of the Deacon Board. 58 year old Deacon Leon Braxton had went into the hospital to get the transplant on both of his legs. And he was doing good, but one of the legs was too short. And when he went back to work as a toll booth operator, he went to step out to pick up some change and fell over (laughs) and got hit by a dude speeding through there in an F-150 pickup truck. Ain't that something how the smallest thing to kill you? (laughs) Did they all that uh, Obamacare? Obamacare didn't pay for all that money for the surgery and one of his legs shorter than the other. And and for, right a week before he died, I seen him. He was outside jogging on the curve. <laughs> it's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. He's gone. Ricky Smiley Morning Show, nine minutes before the top of the hour. Wow. <laughs> Gentlemen, she has arrived in the studio, Miss Bernice Jenkins. <laughs> yeah. yes, I do. To praise his name, I'm telling you, I love to praise his holy name. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. The 4th of July almost here, Janie. Yeah. I'm excited. You coming over there? Yeah. I'm going to bake a, a lemon. I'm going to bake you a, 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 a lemon pound cake. Oh, yeah. I like them sour cream. Uh, and you know Lowe's got them them rib racks. You ain't got to stand out there and turn them ribs back and forth from sweating like a dog. Mm-hmm. I need I need me one. Uh-huh. They ain't but six dollars, but I got you one. You have. Uh-huh. <laughs> Here's our church announcement this morning. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Jenny, let me know if you find out if Joe Willie and the Deuteronomy is going to be performing somewhere where we can go. All right. 
nobody sing like Joe Willie and them dude around the Oh, no. They show nothing sing. They put on the show, don't they? Oh, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Here's our church announcement this morning. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Govern yourself. Accordingly. The pastor is asking for prayer and understanding for 87-year-old Deacon Jasper Higgins. You know him? Yeah. And his roommate Herman, who is also 87. Uh-huh. They have officially <laughs> came out the closet <laughs> and, and said... Uh, and say they moving to California so they can get married because none of these Baptist preachers won't marry them here. They say, hell no, they're not marrying you down here. You're not sending this whole church to hell and we, and we just walked out into a new building. We don't marry no mans. They had to go all the way out there to California. They was trying to keep it a secret, but Alice Banks has seen them out, you know Alice Banks? She seen him at the revival dinner when Jasper was feeding Herman some potato salad off his fork. <laughs> and she busted both of them out. They're too old to be sissies. I don't see how they do it at 87. I hear 87 you a sister. Can they still do that at him? Congratulations to brother Hezekiah Burwell. <laughs> Janie, you know Hezekiah Burwell? Uh, who finally has won his child custody battle against his ex-wife Patricia. Ew. The evil yellow helper had kept his twin sons away from him for all this time. Now he got custody of them. T uh, they name is Timmy and Jimmy. Oh, Lord. And both of them 43 years old, and they're going to be moving in with their daddy this weekend. <laughs> he has already signed both of them up to sing in the children's choir and bought them several matching outfits to wear to church. Oh, <laughs> they 43, though. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> You ain't gonna believe who the Lord done called home. You ain't gonna believe who's gone to the upper room. You ain't gonna believe who didn't wake up this morning. Who was that? Home going service for Deacon Maurice Bynum. You know him. The film gonna be on Friday. He was 93 years old. And he had a bad case of eyelid blisters. Tight scalp skin. Elbow cancer, sickle cell, swollen bunions, hay fever, dry mouth, rusted knuckles, kidney stones, ingrown toenails, liver disease. But that ain't what killed him. He was watching the United States soccer team in the World Cup game yesterday and had put two hot pockets in the microwave and left them in there too long. Ah! And he took them out and they exploded in his face and he had a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> he gone, Jenny! He gone! This is the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Friday morning show, 10 minutes before the top of the hour. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Friday. Miss Bernice Jenkins is in the house and she is wearing... Her red watermelon Jolly Rancher dress this morning. Mm, mm, mm. It smells good too, yeah, don't it, though? So, thank you, this morning. It's just good to be in the building this morning because walking on this side of the dirt is better than being on the other side of the dirt. Even though they say it's a, it's more beautiful in heaven. Because it's just been raining every day this summer. I don't know what's going on. It just makes my nerves bad. <laughs> It's raining too much. You caught a cold and your allergies been acting up, Miss Jenkins? My allergies fine. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't have allergies like I used to. But mm -hmm. it's just sad that it just rain all the time. All right. 
Here's our church announcement. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Accordingly. It can join him and govern yourself. Accordingly. Her line got flooded. She says she's going to call us right back on the house phone. But tell her, hurry up, call back, because she can't miss the church announcement. I know Here y'all. Here she go. So, Janie. Yay! You saw me on TV last night? Yay! All night long. Cheating in the next room. <laughs> <laughs> Making plans to be. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I looked at you all night. I know you was laughing, wasn't you? I sure was. I was laughing. I know I woke the neighbors up. Mm, mm, mm. Here's our church announcement this morning and govern yourself. Accordingly. Accordingly. Congratulations to all the fathers in the building, including Deacon Willie Jackson, who just found out this week that two of Deacon Banks' kids is actually his. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ain't that something? It's your lady. <laughs> you know, him and Sister Banks had a little thing going on back in the day. <laughs> And we just want the church to know, know that it's their business. So please don't make no fuss about it. It ain't nobody's business. So we announcing again that Deacon Willie Jackson just found out this week that two of Deacon Banks' kids is his. And I said his. There's more than one. The Father's Day program will feature a special guest speaker for all the young fathers. Bishop Eddie Long, who's asking all the young fathers under the age of 26 <laughs> that's light-skinned, please arrive early for a special counseling session. You can't say they light-skinned. At 5 a.m. Come on, man. Oh, son, come up. <laughs> How old they gotta be again? Under 26, light skin, <laughs> corn rolls. Show up at between 3 and 5 a.m. <laughs> I know. Pitiful. <laughs> and finally, condolences, condolences, condolences. To Deacon Hampton, who lost his father on yesterday. You know Deacon Hampton, don't you, Jane? Yeah. You know, he, uh, his father was walking to Walgreens to pick up his medication when two thugs ran up on him and told him to give up his wallet or they was going to shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I wish the hell you would, and they shot him nine times. <laughs> I wish to hear you would. <laughs> what they do? What they Shot do? his ass nine times. <laughs> it's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. This is a special. Ricky Smiley Morning Show. I need you to put your hands together for the one, the only, Miss Bernice Jenkins. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm just so happy and thankful to be here this morning. <laughs> Just another day that the Lord has kept me. <laughs> Here's our church announcement this morning. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Govern yourself. Accordingly. I got quite a few of them this morning. If you can't get your church announcements in by Wednesday, they will not be read on Sunday. I don't like these last minute announcements. You keep bringing them back here on Sundays, want me to announce this and that and the other. They tell you plain as day to get them in to me by Wednesday. I'll call the church office or they ain't gonna get read. I don't care what it is. I said that now. <laughs> Got me hot this morning. Too many announcements. The music department was not able to get up enough money to book Yolanda Adams to perform for the pastor's uh, anniversary program. But they did have enough to get Sister Sherita Adams, who married the James Adams, whose stepdaddy's younger brother's ex-wife has a cousin 
who got a baby with Yolanda Yolanda Adams' older brother Charles. Is she just as good? I, I don't know yet, but it's all about what the last name is to try to get him to come out. There's a twenty-five dollar reward for anybody who knows that uh, who know that uh, uh, who knows who it was. That was sniggling when the pastor's mother electric wheelchair got stuck on fast, <laughs> and she ran into the communion table when they was coming around for the missionary offering. Deacon Maxwell, who was arrested Saturday night for running from the police. And he wasn't supposed to be driving because sometime at night his mind and his nerves be going bad. And when they was trying to make him pull over, he said he seen all those red lights and he thought he was being chased by Satan and some demons. We want... Everybody who got excited thinking they saw Samuel L. Jackson downstairs in the lobby at the 8 a.m. service this morning need to calm down. That was not Samuel L. Jackson. Who was? That was Deacon Hank's auntie, Mother Sneed. <laughs> <laughs> she just forgot to put her wig on before she left the house. And they thought it was the man from Django. Attention to all elderly members who had a leg amputated. The Deacon Board wants to invite you all to a special pancake breakfast tomorrow morning at IHOP. <laughs> all, all female members who are dark skinned with low haircuts and look like Tyrese in the face are asked to audition at 3 p.m. for the Fall Jubilee production of Roots. <laughs> The wheelchair ramp to the choir stand is being fixed right now, so all choir members in wheelchairs need to just park in front of the Remembrance of Me table and sing from there. <laughs> Sister Tracy, <laughs> I can't do that stuff. It's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Ricky Smiley Morning Show time right now is nine minutes for the top of the hour. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for everybody's favorite grandmother, Bernice Jenkins. Jamie! Yay! Good morning! Good morning, y'all! I'm good this morning, it's Friday. Yes, and I'm glad about that. We come, we come this far by faith. Yeah! Leading on. Trusting in <laughs> his holy <laughs> word. Yeah, he's never failed me yet. Oh, 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 we can turn back. We come this far by faith. Janie! Yeah! I need you to join that choir right there. Join the choir with us. We say yeah, you sound like you gotta call me Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> we sing that when we marching in. <laughs> when the senior choir marching in. Here, here's our church announcement this morning. Need I like that right there. Church announcement this morning. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Accordingly. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Accordingly. The Family Services Committee. You heard me, Jamie? 
Hello? Hello? Janie? Yeah! The Family Services Committee will hold a counseling session for all female members over 70 who are pregnant and no longer <laughs> with, And they ain't with the daddy or the child and they need financial assistance. <laughs> we also gonna be praying for Mother Beulah Rose's granddaughter Amber, who's going through a bad divorce from that crazy looking boy that be rapping named Wizza. Oh, it's about Wiz Khalifa. Yeah, yeah. Go name him a question. Where's Khalifa at? No, it's Wiz, like he's a wizard. Well, they say where the her my grandma said, Where's Khalifa? <laughs> <laughs> said, Hell, I don't know. I said, hell, I don't know what you keep asking me for. <laughs> the Senior Citizens Kickball Team has their last game next Saturday. The Senior Citizens Kickball Team going to have their last game next Saturday. Gonna, they will be missing one player after last week's game with 97-year-old Brother Herman Benson. You know him, Janie? Yeah! <laughs> Got his two front teeth knocked out trying to steal second base. <laughs> They're a little rough out there with that kickball. <laughs> Lord, here goes another one. Lord, I didn't know this. Lord Jesus! Lord Jesus. What happened? Y'all didn't tell me brother Charlie Banks was dead, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Take it! This is why I don't view body. Homegoing service for brother Charlie Banks will be on Tuesday. He was only 47 years old and had been doing bad with hypertension, weight problems, bad kidney, Liver spots, receding hairline, cavities, thin blood, toenail fungus, itching, gagging, scagging, crying fits, hard murmurs. Knuckle cancer, toe bleed, but that ain't when killed him. He, he picked up his nerve pills from Walgreens and was from Walgreens was out in the front yard trying to see if the movie No Good Deed, trying to see if the movie No Good Deed was in the red box yet. And the UPS truck was pulling out and backed up real fast and mashed him right into the wall. Janie! Have a nice day. Yeah, that concludes our church announcement. It's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Ricky Smiley Morning Show, 10 minutes before the top of the hour. Ladies and gentlemen... Miss Bernie Jenkins is in his ass. Yeah. There was a time I know when all the books of heaven, that all account was settled long ago, long ago, down on my knees. <laughs> Long ago, I settled it all, and the old account was settled long ago, hallelujah, and the record lives today, for he washed my sins away, and the old account was settled long ago. Good morning. Good morning to you. It's Friday, and here's our church announcements. This morning, govern yourselves accordingly. The church has been asked to say a special prayer for all members with car problems <laughs> because the devil has been busy trying to get more people on the bus. 
<laughs> and we're going to pray for Mother Griggs, whose alternator keep going out. And Mother Clayton, who got bad ball joints on the on both of her front wheels. And Deacon Maxwell, who don't know why his windshield wiper only works on the passenger side. <laughs> the devil's a liar. <clears throat> Sometimes the devil will come get you through your car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we also going to pray for Sister uh, Tashika. <laughs> Tashika. <laughs> Tashika Hunter. <laughs> who churned the church last month. <laughs> And she got baptized last Sunday. But her butt is so big that the pastor had trouble getting her to go all the way down into the water. So he got to baptize her again next Sunday. I think they're going to take her over front ways. So if she die right now, only her backside going to make it to heaven. So when they baptize her, they're going to take over, bend over in the front ways. Because you got to go all the way in the water. <laughs> Any member with a baby who looks like comedian Earthquake in the face, please come down to the altar for special prayer immediately after we take up the offering. <laughs> all members, all members, please pray hard, pray hard, pray hard for a speedy recovery. For 88-year-old Deacon Clinton Jasper Harris Sr., who is the great uncle to, rap, to rapper Clifford Harris, who goes by the name of T.I., <laughs> Jasper was hanging out with T.I. and his friends from Hustle Game <laughs> at the strip club, and he was sitting right by the stage when one of them strippers swung around real fast <laughs> on the pole and kicked him in the side of the head by mistake. Now he's having no bleeds and cannot hear nothing in his left ear. <laughs> Got hit in the side of the head with one of them big shoes. <laughs> you know them what them shoes them sh shoes they be wearing, Janie? <laughs> All of them going to hell, low down scoundrels. <laughs> the Ricky Smiley Morning Show, baby. Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Ladies and gentlemen, clap your hands for Miss Bernice Jenkins yeah. in the building. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Janie, good morning. Good morning. Happy belated Easter. I had a good, I had a good Easter. How was your Easter, Janie? Oh, it was good. And the church had a nice play. The challenge of the cross was awesome. Yeah, it was off the chain. What you cook for Easter, Janie? Oh, barbecue ribs and chicken and baked beans, potato salad, congeal salad, banana pudding, pineapple pudding, lemon ice box pie, million dollar yeah, pie. Jesus. You didn't even come and get your pie. I'm so sorry, Jane. I, no, I, 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 Would you I had drunk? cooked myself. No, I ain't drank nothing Sunday. You know, I don't drink on Easter. Oh, you don't? Yeah, I don't drink on first Sundays, and I don't drink on Easter. But I will drink on the fifth Sunday after listening to the kids sing. I don't know why they let the children sing, because they ain't went through nothing. They ain't got no testimony. Hell, everything free. You don't feel nothing when the kids sing? I feel not nothing. They ain't, that. they ain't got no disconnect notices. All they clothes and stuff free. What they celebrating? Not a thing. Not a thing. That's what I said, Jane. We need to have a meeting about that. Oh, Speaking sorry. of meeting, there's a meeting immediately following service for all cockeyed members <laughs> downstairs. <laughs> all cockeyed members downstairs in either room 215. Wait a minute. Or room... A room 512, depending on whichever one looks right to you. <laughs> so if 
you can't all cock out the <laughs> You're not Go sure which one? Stairs in either meeting room 215 <laughs> or room 512 <laughs> or room 125. <laughs> they on the same floor? Or room 521. <laughs> Depending on whichever one looks right. <laughs> All cock, I remember. Just come downstairs. There's somebody that guides you what, what room you need to go to. You know who you are. <laughs> Church security wants to let everybody know that Sister Helena Boswell's son, Bruce, was found early this morning after being missing since Sunday. He is 15 and he's a little slow and he was looking for Easter eggs and then walked all the way across town. <laughs> and the police found him sleep in some white family's basement. <laughs> We just thank God that Sister Helena Boswell's son, Bruce, who's kind of slow, is safe and sound. He was 15 and was looking for Easter eggs and then walked all the way across town. And the popos found him sleeping in some white family's whoa, whoa. basement. I don't know how he get in there. When he got home, he said, what you get out? What you go over there? What you go over there, Fox? One of our favorite members, Janie, 98 year old brother James Clackham Sr., was called home. He was recovering after a heart transplant surgery, and the family thought he was gonna make it, but what killed him was the doctors couldn't find a human heart to put in him. So they used. Shut up. What they, they used. They used one out of a deer. As soon as he was able to... <laughs> as soon as he was able to get up out of the bed, he jumped up and ran outside and got hit by a truck trying to run across the interstate. It's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Ricky Smiley Morning Show. This Bernice Jenkins is in his eyes. Yeah. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. How you doing, Janie? I'm good. Oh, I got up this morning. I made some cube steak gravy and some rice Ooh. biscuits, <laughs> scrambled eggs, and drunk me some Sanka brand coffee. <laughs> old school. <laughs> That's Sanka brand coffee. That's what us old black folks drink. <laughs> you ain't never tried the Keurig? The what? The Keurig. What the hell is that? It makes, it makes the coffee for you. You can put the little... Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. All that stuff poison ain't good for you. Get your cancer. Poison? All of it get your cancer. I don't do nothing in the microwave. I warm everything up in the oven. Yes, all of it. I drink Sanka Brand. Yeah, baby, that Sanka Brand's about as strong as Jim Beam whiskey. You talking about some dark liquor? That Sanka brand will get you up on your feet, won't it, Janie? Oh, that's what you say. <laughs> Here's our church announcement this morning. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Accordingly. The entire Labor Day Jubilee program will be held outside the church yard on the first Sunday. That's the Labor Day Jubilee program. <laughs> Since we are right next to the project, all members of the number two usher board will be issued tasers to deal with any crackheads, thugs, or loose pit bulls that are trying to come over and disrupt the service. <laughs> Lord, when that pit bull got off in church on the second Sunday, that was something else. By the time he got to the choir stand, everybody had left. <laughs> They had to lock him in there and call the uh, Humane Society. Did they get him? They got him. They got him. 
but he peed on the do this. Okay. The man got to do this in remembrance of me table. <laughs> now, happy 30th birthday to brother Larry Wiggins Jr., who has been a faithful member since he was a little boy. And he was born with a full third arm on his right side. And we appreciate him for always sitting next to Mother Brenwell, who was born with no left arm. So Larry uses his extra arm to help her clap when the choir sings. <laughs> He was born with a full third arm on his right side. And we want to thank him for always sitting next to Mother Brenwell, who was born with no left arm at all. So Larry used his extra arm to help her clap when the choir sang. <laughs> That's why they sit together. We they got ain't it. got nothing going on. <laughs> The funeral service for 98-year-old Mother Beulah Giddens. You know Mother Beulah Giddens. The funeral's going to be on Monday. And she had been doing real bad with severe earwax, hepatitis, pneumonia, whiplash, rickets, Lyme disease, polio, and back spasm. But she was doing fine with all that, Janie. Where was the kid? She died when she was at the mall and had dropped at <laughs> and dropped a new pack of Juicy Fruit gum in the fountain and reached over to get it and fell off in there and drowned. <laughs> it's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show.